Wee. What is going on guys? Mikey Daily Carry here with another quick carry review. I hope you guys are liking this so far. I wanted to do something a little different. Do quick carry reviews and get videos out to you as fast as I can, but still hold the quality that I hope you guys expect out of my videos and my channel. Speaking of my channel, if you are not a member already, consider being one. If you do become one, you get exclusive access to members only videos, members only lives. And I also chat with my members to get an understanding of what content they want me to put out there in this space. But today I'm gonna be going over the Bard Caddy 2.0. And that is one made by Unlucky Leather Company. I met Dustin, the owner of Unlucky Leather Co. at Blade West during my last trip. And such a great guy. He has so much passion in the work that he does. This is it right here. Let me give you guys a showcase of what that looks like. So this is the front of my Bard 2.0. I'm just gonna rotate it here for you so you get an idea of what this looks like. I'm gonna go over how I loaded this out as well, but then before I do that, I just wanna give you a little bit of history. So Unlucky Leather Co. is veteran owned and veteran operated, so thank you Dustin for your service. It's also a company that specializes in high quality leather goods. He doesn't only make these super awesome caddies, he also makes wallets, he makes worry stones, he also makes cases for your beer bombs if you're into that stuff, Notorious EDC. This is one of his latest work. I looked at his site when I was at Blade West and if you know me, I love multicam black as you can see on my videos. And I said, you know what? I really want to pull the trigger on one of your caddies, but I wanted to ask, do you have multicam black by chance? And sure enough, he sends me a picture of the piece and he's like, I sure do. And I said, sold. He crafted this for me personally, sent it over. And here I am with you all to do a review. I have shorts, reels, different pictures of this on my Instagram already. I've given this some use. I haven't necessarily broke it into what I want it to be, but it's definitely shaped into what I wanted it to be. Let's talk about this. We have one, two, three, four, five, six slots on this Bard Caddy 2.0. And by the way, this is $110. And what's cool about this is that not only does it have multiple slots for your EDC gear, you have three different materials to choose from as of right now. But like I said, if you speak to Dustin, send him a message. He's very good at replying back and letting you know and even just communicating with you. He likes being personable with his clients, which I really absolutely love. There's three current colors right now for the Bard 2.0. He has it in buck brown, walnut, and black. And there's also various multiple thread colors that you can have on there. Mine is multicam black with black thread. Pretty easy. The light loop size also, not a lot of companies do this, but the light loop size he fitted specifically for my Olight i3T. It seems to be the perfect light size for me. Nothing smaller, nothing larger. I think this is just the perfect size, perfect output of lumens that I want in a light. Showed you my light there. It's a carbon fiber i3T. I kind of have like this black theme going on. And then on the back here, as you can see, we all know that clip right there, that's Vero Engineering. This is the mini fulcrum in black. Got that with a titanium stone wash clip. And what's cool about this, see those two bits there? Weehaw bits, you can put right there, which is magnetic, and you can just start getting into screwing things. You know what I'm saying? That is really neat, and I put that right back there. And then in the front of that, right here, I have my zirconium lefty tactile turn pen. And this right here is the mini version. This fits the mini G2 refills, which is super nice. What makes this left-handed is this, real quick education piece. When I'm holding it in my hand, I'm using just my thumb to actuate the pen because for the right-handed bolt action pens, I would have to adjust it with my index finger and then get back into writing. But here, I'm already in place. I'm just fixing it with my thumb and then I'm ready to go. Super easy. Just quick education there with left-handed versus right-handed bolt action. On the front side here, let me take my knife out real quick. That's in this middle channel. But on the front side, I have the TPT slide in DLC by Big Idea Design. Absolutely love this piece. This is probably one of my first EDC pickups. No joke. I switch out the blade to have more of a sharper utility blade. 
You can get a pack of six for like 10 bucks on Amazon, but it's razor sharp, just cuts through. And then the knife that I have is one of my latest Grail pickups. This right here is the Lefty Vero Synapse in black DLC and marbled carbon fiber. You got your flipper tab. You also have this little channel back here for easy spidey flicks. You can front flip this with a little bit of practice. Oh, okay. You can front flip it with a little bit of practice because there's that jimping right there on the blade. I obviously have not gotten it yet. I still need to practice that. That is the knife that I have in this caddy. And so that's how I typically have mine loaded out. It fits in my pocket like a glove, just disappears. I don't even know it's there sometimes, but then I need to pull it out. And I have various tools and gear that I can pick from, which I use on a day-to-day -day basis. This has been about a month now of me using this thing. It's been shaping to the gear that I typically put in here. I don't have a use for this sixth pocket right here on the back because it's just a bit too much. Uh, sometimes I'll have my knife clip pop out on the backside there where you can see that. I think that's a little nice touch. Kind of just covers the V on the Vero. That's my typical loadout for the Bard 2.0. Let me know what you guys think. What are your pros? What are your cons of this specific caddy here? I'm still trying to find something that I could potentially change, but overall, I mean, I'm loving it. It's small, compact, fits in my hand, in my pocket, disappears. I don't have any critiques as of yet, but if you have one or if you're looking to purchase one, like what do you like? What do you dislike? Let me know. Throw that in the comments down below. I just want to say thank you again to Dustin for crafting this beautiful piece and sending this over to me. I can't wait till this super patinas. It's going to look beautiful. I know it. I'll catch you guys on the next quick carry review or live or video. Who knows? Just follow me. Subscribe to the channel. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.